this tutorial we are going to learn about use of css styles in html document so here uh, there are three types of css styles we can use in html document the first style is called as internal style sheet second one is called as inline style sheet third one is called as embedded or external style sheet we are going to see all these three style sheets one by one so these are the three different ways to use css styles in html document so here now i am going to explain about all these three types so here first what we are going to do is we are going to use one html document inside the html document first i am going to explain about uh, internal style sheet so the, here in internal style sheet so here inside the body tag i have used two tags one tag is called as h2 tag the other tag is h1 tag so now i want to give some extra effect or extra color to these text then i can use these style information so here the first type is internal style sheet here if i want to give some extra effect to this text that is uh, the text we have written under this h2 and h1 tag here uh, we are going to give some style information so if it is internal style sheet then the style information will be given inside the style tag so this style tag is written uh, inside this head tag so here one attribute is there so that is type is equal to text slash css now we are going to write the style information so i want to give style for this h2 tag so here h2 open brace then we have to write background color i am going to give background color I am going to give blue then I want to display the color of the text as white now I have given style information for this h2 tag so whatever the style information written in this h2 tag will be affected this CSS types text so now I am going to give the style effect for this h1 tag so open brace enter here also i am going to give background color colon pink then color as white these information that is the style information written inside this h1 tag will be reflected for this internal style sheet now we are going to save this document so this document is saved in desktop so the name of this document is internal.html now we are going to execute this one first css type here the style information we have given background color as blue that is affected here here then the second one h1 tag we have given background color as pink that is also affected in the second one so like that we can use the internal style sheet so this is the first type now we are going to see the second type that is inline style sheet how we are going to use the inline style sheet now we are going to create a new document so here we are going to type html slash html then here we are going to write head inside the head title then we are going to write inline style So next body slash body so now what we are going to do is we are going to use the same two text only so that is 
CSS types and here we are going to write inline style sheet that is second type so now what we are we are going to save this document so we are going to save this as inline dot html so it is also saved in desktop now the same if it is internal style sheet the style information will be given inside the style tag if it is internal style sheet then the style information is given with the help of the style attribute inside this h2 tag and h1 tag the style attribute will be present for every element in html document so if you want to give any style inside that particular element you can use this style attribute that is here we are going to use same thing that is background colon here we are going to give red semicolon close first property is background color i have given second property we are going to give color colon white so now the same style information i am going to give in the second tag that is h1 tag here i am going to change this as green color i am going to keep it as white so now inline style sheet information also we can give some extra effect to this text so i think you, you all have understood these uh, two types the first we have learned is internal style sheet second we have learned is inline style sheet so here uh, if it is internal style sheet you have to use style tag style element if it is inline style sheet with the help of style attribute we have to write the style information now the third type is called as embedded or external style sheet so here what we are going to do is first we are going to create a new document so here also we are going to use same html document so here we are going to remove this style information now we are going to save this document as external dot html it is also saved in desktop now we are going to see how this external style sheet can be used so so in this external style sheet what we are going to do is we are going to create one more new document in that document we are going to write the style information so because it is external external means we are going to create a separate style sheet for this external dot html document so here for that so we are going to use the same things whatever we have defined inside the style tag that is internal so that style information i am going to keep in separate file so now we are going to save this as save as external external dot css so style sheet can be saved with the extension of dot css so dot css save now we are going to use this external dot css inside this external dot html document here we are going to link this external dot css inside this external dot html document for that we are going to use one tag that tag is called as link tag so this link tag will have attributes relation relation is called as style sheet we have to give like this style sheet then we have to write type type is equal to text slash css 
then we are going to give href so inside this href we have to give the external style sheet file name so here we have created external style sheet is external.css that file name we have to give here then slash close so now what will happen is this particular external.css is linked in this html document now we are going to save this one after saving this one we are going to execute so here this is extend here we are learning about third type external save now we are going to see that we are going to execute this external dot html file go disturb external dot html right click open with google chrome so see here so now we whatever information we have given inside this external dot css is affected in this external dot html external dot html document now we are going to change uh, some color value so background color as purple purple so now here background color as yellow so now we'll see whether it is going to be affected in that document or not now we are going to refresh this one see here the purple color is affected yellow color is affected so like that we can create three different ways this css style sheet so i think you have understood this one so if you have understood these three types clearly please subscribe this channel like this video and share this video thank you